Good morning, Kip One Primary. This is Mr. Jennings, and this is the start of our excellence class this week. So, like we do with each excellence class, we're going to start off with our hope values. Remember, this month's hope value is love. So, hope stands for honor, optimism, perseverance, enthusiasm, and finally, what we've added because we do everything with a sense of love. Very good. So, whenever I say love, we can show our hearts. So, your heart is on. Your left side, it might be opposite of Miss Green, but then you can just show a little heart for love. So everybody show me your hearts. Everybody show me your hearts. Very good. All right, heart for love. What is hope? Like I said, hope stands for honor, optimism, perseverance, enthusiasm, and what our value this month is, love. What is love, you might be thinking? We added love to our values because we do everything from a place of Love, very good. Love is important because it shows that you care. At KOP, we do everything with love on our minds and our hearts. So everybody show me love on your minds, love on your minds, love on your hearts. Everybody love on minds, love in our hearts. We do everything with love on our minds and love on our hearts. How can you show love? Let's say um, our value sentence all together. Love. I show love to my school by coming to class every day, ready to learn. I show love to my teammates by helping them when they need it. I show love to my family and community by being nice and kind. Learning objectives. Kids will be able to identify the aspects of their identity that they want to present to others and the aspects they want to conceal, which means to hide. Kipsis will be able to represent their identities visually through a word web and clothing. Kipsis will also be able to understand identity is dynamic, complex, and personal. And it affects both how we see ourselves and how we interact with others. Lesson vocabulary. So we're going to say our lesson vocabulary together. Everybody say stereotypes. When I say go, we're all going to say stereotypes. Ready, set, go. Stereotype. Lesson vocabulary. Our lesson vocabulary um, has three different words that we're going to focus on in this lesson. One of those words is stereotypes. Everybody say stereotypes. Everybody say stereotypes. When I say go, we're all going to say stereotypes. Ready, set, go. Stereotypes. The next word is positive. Everybody say positive. And everybody say negative. Everybody say negative. Very good. So stereotypes. Stereotypes are judgments you make before knowing a person. Judgments you make before knowing a person. So whenever you make a, uh, are using stereotypes, you're judging that person before you even know that person. Positive. Positive means good. Negative means bad. Everybody show me with your hands. Positive means good. Negative means bad. Positive means good. Negative means bad. All right, quick test. Who can tell me what does positive mean? Right, it means good. And what does negative mean? Great, it means bad. So let's go on with our lesson. We wear the mask. This was something that we read last week. Um, and we seen how different people wore masks to cover up what their true feelings were. We talked about slavery last week and we talked about how even though sometimes people were smiling, they weren't really smiling on the inside. They actually were very sad and they were not having a great time. But because they didn't want to get in trouble, they acted and pretended as if they were happy when they really not, weren't. We talked about what we're going to be doing today. Today, we're going to be making a, or creating an identity web. In this identity web, you're going to be as, answering different questions. We're going to be asking, what are your likes? What are your hopes? And what are some things that you've accomplished that you think are important to us? And then this is something that you'll be able to turn in at the end of class. So three different things that we're going to answer. What are your hopes? What do you like? And what do you uh, want to accomplish or what have you already accomplished? And this can be as little or big as you want it. And when I talk about hopes, that means that what do you hope that you can um, do in the future? We are about to do our identity web. So to do your identity web, remember there are three things we're going to be looking for, but you need some materials to get started. 
one thing you need is something to write with. This can be a pencil, pen, crayon, marker, whatever you can find to write with, and a piece of paper to write your identity of web on. So this is just a, Mr. Jennings is going to give you guys 10 seconds to find something to write with in a paper. 10 seconds, get ready, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Let's get started with our identity web. So now I talked about us creating our word web. There are going to be three different things that we're going to make in our word web. One, our likes. Two, our hope. I'll put it like that, like, um, and then three, things we accomplished. No, these are a lot of big words here, but I have an L, you just put an L for lights and put a H for hopes. And then you can put a T for things that we accomplish if these are too much. So that's totally fine. L-H-T. We have three different things that we're going to be answering in our word web, our likes, our hopes, and things that we've accomplished in your word web. So that's what we'll be able to see. I'm going to take this one out. So in our word web, first thing to do is make a circle. In your circle, you're going to put your name. So in your your circle, you're going to write your name. Here I have my name, Mr. Jennings. Then I'm going to connect things to me, just like doing a number bond. Um, so you're going to connect things to, to, uh, to me. These things will make the whole. So the different parts that I put are parts of Mr. Jennings, which is the whole. Likes. One thing I like to do is read. And I'm going to put two things. So read, R, 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 read, and teach, t -t teach. These are two things that Mr. Jennings likes to do. Hopes. So hopes big because I want to tell you guys what my hope. I hope that each of you become successful in your life. So I want each of you, each one of my tip one primary students to be successful. Each of you have the chance to be successful. And I know that you guys all can be successful. Obviously you have to try your best. You have to work hard, but I know that each of you have those different things inside of you to be successful. And the last thing are accomplishments. Your accomplishments can be as big or small as you want. So one accomplishment that I'll put is, let's think of something, maybe something small. One thing that I did that was small, making breakfast. Uh oh, my paper is ripping a little bit. It's okay though. All right, making breakfast. One thing that Mr. Jennings has been doing is making breakfast. Sorry, I'm gonna fix this. It seems so easy, but Mr. Dennis hasn't been making breakfast that much. So um, making sure that I take care of my body and my mind, I know I need to be able to eat breakfast in the morning. So one small goal or accomplishment that Mr. Dennis thinks that he's been doing a great job is, is making breakfast. But I can also say one thing that I know all of you guys should, should be doing, you guys can be logging in on Wednesdays to do your exit tickets or small lessons. So on Wednesdays, if I know that you're doing these every Wednesday to help you guys, your team on, earn points and help your class earn points, one thing you can be doing is logging in on Wednesdays. At the top, I'm going to write my name so I know who it's from. This is Mr. Jennings Wordwell. Next, identities with clothes. What we wear can also be a part of our identity. Things that you choose to wear often shows what you think is cool, fun, or nice to wear. Clothes can often mean different things depending on how you feel when you wear them. 
they can also be things that we think are cool or just fun to wear. Mr. Jenny. So Mr. Jenny is going to put on a quick fashion show here. Um, I guess you can say that. Looking at a couple of different things that Mr. Jenny wears uh, a lot. So one thing is a hat. Oftentimes you see Mr. Jenny on his videos wearing a hat. And I wear a hat for different reasons. One, I think uh, that it makes me um, look more presentable at times. And I say that because oftentimes when Mr. Dennis doesn't wear a hat, Mr. Dennis also <laughs> often needs a haircut because I don't, uh, because of quarantine. So um, because of COVID and quarantine and also Mr. Dennis sometimes get lazy, I don't um, get my haircut. So I often wear a hat to cover up. I often cover up what I'm self-conscious about. And that is uh, people looking at my hair being, or me having a bad hair back. But there's not just one hat that I that I wear that makes me feel better about me not having a haircut. I can wear this black hat. Often when I wear fitted hats, I feel like a um like a baseball player kind of. I feel like this is a look for me. I often wear it frontwards. Sometimes I can wear it backwards. Glasses. When I wear glasses, I feel like not only that I can see better. Um, these are some blue light glasses because oftentimes we're looking at the computer screen and these kind of protect my eyes, but I also can't see very far. So if I'm not wearing contacts, I often wear glasses and it makes me feel studious or smart or intelligent. Makes me feel like I am getting things complete that I need to get completed. Hoodie. When Mr. Jennings has a hoodie, oftentimes um, maybe I am cold, but it makes me feel comfortable. I feel warm. I feel it also like kind of provides a sense of it often provides like a sense of control. Like I feel safer in my hoodie. I feel like no one can get close to me. I don't feel loose. I feel very like, like controlled. I feel like, like the area is controlled. So often when I wear a hoodie, I feel comfortable. If I wear a hoodie, it means something, it could mean something different. It could also mean that I'm still cold. It also can be comfortable, but sometimes it might mean that I am in a lonely or independent type of way. Like I don't wanna be bothered when I have a hoodie on um, if I'm in a house. Like that might mean that um, I'm doing something um, that that I want to be doing alone. Like I, I it's just a sense of um, independence when I have the hoodie on. So um, thinking about what you wear to make you feel these type of things too. Finally, Mr. Jenny, likes shoes. I'm not going to say love shoes because you shouldn't love shoes, but when we look at different shoes, they can also mean different things. Now, there are different shoes that you guys may have heard of, like Jordans or Nikes or um, there are different shoes that you might have heard of, heard of, like Jordans or Nikes or Skechers or Pumas. There's different shoes that are in the world. And what we when we hear these shoes, we often think that these are cooler shoes. So Mr. is going to show you some of his shoes and talk about these different shoes. So I have three different shoes that Mr. Jennings came to show you guys today. So I have some Nikes. These are like some high top, wheat colored Air Force Ones. I don't wear them very often anymore. Um, but these are some Nike shoes. So often you might look at these shoes and you might think they're pretty cool. You might think they're not so cool. Next is some Jordans. So Mr. Jen has also had these Jordans for some time. Like these Jordans might be about five or six years old. But Mr. Jen is like, likes to wear Jordans. I like to wear Nike. I like to wear all shoes. Then, then I have my work shoes. You often see Mr. Jen and these shoes at work. These are the shoes that I wear almost every, every, every day. Mr. Jennings does not wear too many cool shoes. Mr. Jennings does not wear most of his other shoes, maybe on Fridays or our dress down days, but oftentimes Mr. Jennings is wearing these shoes. So looking at these three different shoes, which one of these shoes do you think Mr. Jennings feels the coolest in? Let me just start this over. That's the shoe. Finally, we're going to talk about shoes. So, finally, we're going to talk about shoes. Right here, Mr. Jennings has some shoes. These are some red and black flu game 12 that are maybe around five years old. The Mr. Jennings still has them. I don't wear them often. 
But when I do, I feel pretty cool when I'm wearing these shoes. I feel like these shoes make me feel like I could run super fast. I feel like I could jump super high. I feel like I could wear these with some cool clothes and these will be some cool shoes to wear. So let's talk about stereotypes of shoes. There are different shoes that you hear about that sound cooler, make you think you can go fast or jump higher. Just like Mr. Dennis talked about one of his favorite shoes. I think that they're cool. I think they sometimes make me feel like I'm faster and, and even jump higher. But in reality, when we look at shoes, I'm gonna look at a couple of Mr. Dennis shoes. So I have some Jordans here. I have some Nikes here, um, okay? And Mr. Dennis has his shoe that he wears to work a lot. And these are my work shoes. And I don't even know what type of shoes they are, but yeah, but these are some uh, uh, Mr. Dennis shoes that I wear all the time. Looking at these three pair of shoes, which shoe do you think is cooler? One, two, or three? Which one do you think is cooler? The Jordans, one. The Nikes, two. My work shoes, three. Which one do you think is cooler? Which shoes do you think will make Mr. Dennis faster? The Jordans, one. The Nikes, two, or Mr. Jennings' work shoes, three. One, two, or three. And which one do you think can make me jump higher? Mr. Jennings' Jordan shoes, one. Mr. Jennings' Nike shoes, two. Or Mr. Jennings' work shoes, three. Shoes are actually the same type of thing. They're shoes. They're things that we wear to walk and to get around to protect our feet. So none of these shoes makes Mr. Jennings faster. Mr. Jennings will be the same amount of fast in each shoe. None of them can make me cooler because Mr. Jennings will be the same amount of cool no matter which shoe that he wears or, or um, jumping higher. None of these shoes make Mr. Jennings jump higher because Mr. Jennings' jumping powers are already inside of Mr. Jennings. So even though we made those stereotypes of which shoes might be cooler or make us go faster or make us jump higher, they neither of the shoes do those things because shoes don't do that you do those things so we can throw these shoes away because shoes are shoes wrapping up learning objectives in this lesson kids were able to identify the aspects of their identity that they want to present to others and the aspects they want to conceal you do that by sending mr Dennis your word web or sending me a picture of you and some of your favorite clothes or clothes that make you feel cool or comfortable or fun. Scripture were also able to represent the identity visually through a word web and clothing. Scripture were also able to understand the identity as dynamic, complex, and personal in the effect of both how we see ourselves and how we interact with others. Finally, work submission. You can send all of your work to cjennings at kipchicago.org. You put C and then in J, most likely Mr. Jennings' name will come up inside of your email. To do your work submission this week, you can send a picture of your word web to answer these questions, experiences or accomplishments, likes, and hopes. Or, and so if you want to do both of these things, you can also send a picture of you and some of your favorite clothes or shoes that make you happy. So catch you guys next week. This was a phenomenal time learning with you guys.